Hello everyone! So today's video is going to be another tea update and I'm also filming this a little bit late so this is more like 8 months and 8 days on tea because this week has just been incredibly busy and chaotic so I haven't had time to make this video until today but I don't think it should make too much difference uh, but just in case it does I'm just gonna mention that. Also before I jump into it, uh, yes I do have a different background. I finally got the display cupboard of my dreams so I've been filling it up with my toy collection pretty much. It is still a work in progress, there's more than I need to like fit in and move around and stuff but I'm kind of getting there now which is good. I guess I'll also mention for the sake of the update that I'm also now two months on two pumps of testo gel instead of one so just to like keep a record of that. Anyway I'm just gonna like jump into the update so of course we're gonna start once again with the moustache. I do think that it is a bit darker again I said every month but um I'm also noticing that I'm starting to get like little hairs kind of growing here at like the the sides of my mouth so that's kind of cool. Um, I'll get up close as usual and show you how it's looking. So that's the moustache. And then keeping with like facial hair, I'm definitely noticing that like my chin hair is becoming a bit more prominent and you can't see it yet from a distance but I can definitely see it just like looking in a mirror. <laughs> I'm getting a patch like kind of here that is more dense than like the rest of my chin and some of the hairs are like getting really long but they're all different lengths so the long ones like stick right out and they're like it looks really weird with all the different lengths. So I'll try and show that to you as well. Um, I'm hoping you'll be able to see it on camera now, but you might not yet, but we will try. Yeah, so like the patch where there's heaps of hair is like around here and I can really feel it. I don't know if you can see it yet. And there's this one dark hair, you see, like here. And that one I had pre-tea, but it's gotten like definitely longer now than I ever had like before I was on tea. I guess now I'll also show you my like sideburns area which I think is like my favourite next to the moustache hair like it's so fun seeing the progress so let's take a look at that. Yes like all along here I definitely think it's darker and like more fluffy or something and I think it's like starting to really slowly creep down my face to like connect with my chin hair, I think. Um, I don't know. I think like lastly, the facial hair. I do want to give you an update on like the hair on my neck. So there's like, again, they're like all different lengths, but there's this one hair, where is it? This, which you can't see from here, but it's like really long and it's like longer than all the other hairs. And I, I really like just playing with it, which probably looks really weird to anyone like, watching from the outside but it's like my favorite thing to do is just like I don't know play with that little hair <laughs> yeah but let's see we'll see if you can see it and also it's really dark today so like I don't know how well you can see any of this but whatever yeah so like it's all here that I can feel all the hairs and like the long ones kind of around here there's like patches that are more dense in some areas and then some are like more sparse and like I'm kind of wondering if I'm like approaching the time that maybe I need to start shaving just because of like all the different lengths and textures and like I don't know that it's all just so it's just doing its own thing you know and it's not very uniform so yeah I think I might have to start shaving soon but I really don't want to because I'm like really attached to all my little hairs and I really like seeing the progress every month as like they get thicker and they grow in more and I guess I will still see that progress but I don't know it won't be the same. I think I'm gonna try and like stretch out the not shaving for as long as possible. I know I'm gonna have to do it at some point but yeah I don't know I'm just I'm attached literally and figuratively. I do think I just have like a lot more peach fuzz again in general like I feel like that's really amped up and especially like here it's just gotten so so fluffy and I'm really enjoying it and I can also see it like in photos now if I take a selfie I can see like 
this sort of fluff coming up on my face and it's really cool. Like it doesn't look like a beard yet obviously but it's cool seeing like all that peach fuzz, like the sort of silhouette of it. It's it's nice, I like it. <laughs> I guess moving on to like other body hair, like my arm hair has gotten darker again, which is not surprising so I will show you that. I also have noticed again that like the hair is starting to grow on the inside of my arms more, but it's like pretty hard to tell on camera. There's like no markers for being able to tell where the hair originally started and ended versus now, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but whatever. I'm even noticing that like on the inside of my elbows, like here, I'm starting to get some little hairs come in, which is really cool. Currently the hairs, the new ones are like kind of along here. Again, I don't think you can see them yet. One day you will, but not yet. <laughs> and then of course there is my tummy hair and that is going so great. I swear that's like really taken off more since like upping my dose. And now like my sort of happy trail area is really starting to look more like something. Like it's still sparse, but it's nowhere near as sparse as it was. It's like really growing in a lot more and like making a more defined line which is really cool it makes me so happy whenever i see it and definitely like again the hair around that just like on my tummy in general is starting to become a bit more noticeable it's still you know at like baby <laughs> stages they're only little hairs definitely more noticeable than they used to be which is really cool because i've been waiting forever for those hairs to start growing so i'm pretty pretty happy about that Hair loss is still not going great. I'm still losing a lot of hair every night. In fact, I think if anything, it's starting to increase. I think I'm losing between like 25 and 30 hairs every night, which is a bit shit. And I should really stop counting them, but I'm like hoping that if I keep counting them and eating the pumpkin seeds, then I'll gain some control over it. But I know that isn't really happening. About like 95% of the time, even in summer, I'm always wearing hats anyway and like, Hair just annoys the shit out of me, honestly, and it always has. It's like so much maintenance and I just like don't have the energy to deal with hair anyway. So I'm kind of like actually leaning towards just shaving it all off. I'm tired of, of thinking about it and obsessing over it all the time when there's nothing that I can do and like it's getting really long and I don't want to go to a hairdresser because I usually do my own hair and stuff and like, I don't know, I'm just... I'm sick of dealing with my hair because like I just don't even enjoy it anyway so yeah I don't know but as you can tell I'm like I have a lot of mixed feelings about my hair loss but anyway I will just show you how it's looking um it's gonna be a lot more noticeable now than other times since I'm wearing a hat and like I've said this before but when I wear a hat it like flattens all my hair so you can really see like where the hair loss is a lot more prominently than if I'm not wearing a hat. So I'm a little self-conscious about this, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you can really see like here is kind of the worst offender. And I think I am losing a bit of hair here, but I've always had like this kind of shape to my hairline. So it's kind of hard to tell, but I think I'm losing a little bit here, which doesn't bother me that much. Yeah, like this is getting really, really thin. And it's like, again, all like the crown of my head. And um, yeah, as much as I hate having hair in some ways, it is still a bit depressing. But yeah, I, I guess my priorities are that I, I want to stay on tea. So I'll just deal with the hair loss. I mean, that's really like the only option if I want to stay on tea at this point, so. Hats and wigs it is, <laughs> uh, and pumpkin seeds. <laughs> so now I'm going to talk about my voice, and I, I don't know if it's really changed much from last month. Maybe like the tiniest little tad sometimes, but it's, it's not very consistent again. I know I always say that, but yeah, I do notice that like my morning voice is deeper than it used to be. But then like everyone's voice I think is usually a bit deeper in the mornings but it's it's deeper in the mornings than what it was pre-tea and like at the start of tea so I don't know if that means anything or not I'm hoping it does but I don't know the kind of gravelly edge that it has at times actually seems to like come in more 
when I'm not projecting my voice, whereas it used to be the opposite, like I'd have it more if I was projecting my voice, but now it's like when I'm really relaxed and like speaking in a normal quiet <laughs> tone, it comes in a lot more, which is cool. I much prefer that because <laughs> I don't like projecting my voice, it feels very weird. So I, I mean, I think it's going somewhere. It has to be, I guess, but it's really taking its, its time. It's taking its sweet old time and hopefully the wait will be worth it. But I try to think of it as like, I've only been on a full dose of tea for two months and then the rest of the time, what is it, the other six months, it's only been a half dose and I feel like if I'd been on a full dose sooner, I would probably have more of the voice changes that I'm looking for by now. So I'm trying to like keep it in perspective in that way. I will say that like, I have been needing to clear my throat like way more often this past month and apparently that is a thing as like the vocal cords thicken and stuff people like need to clear their throats more often or something i heard that it's like not actually good for your voice to clear your throat all the time you're meant to just like do a big cough and that clears it but i can't seem to like get the cough right to clear it so i've just been like clearing my throat in the way that you're not supposed to I know that's bad, but that's what I've been doing and hopefully I'm not doing any damage with that. That's that's it for voice. I think something's happening, but I've said that before and nothing happened, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Moving on, I'm now going to talk about hunger because... how did you hear that? My bone just cracked. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, my hunger has changed quite a lot. It's really intensified a lot. Um, I really feel like my stomach is just a bottomless pit at the moment. I just can't satiate myself no matter what. Like, I will have just eaten a huge meal and I will still be hungry and it's just, it's just there all the time and it's like really annoying. Or I'll be like satiated for maybe like, like half an hour at the most and then hunger comes back. So, I don't know, I'm like, I'm hoping that kind of goes away because it's really annoying, but I guess, I guess I just need to eat more or something. So next I'm going to talk about basically my legs. I don't know whether to like call it muscle mass or not because like, I don't think I've noticed much difference in that since last time I talked about it. I will say that I have been getting a a little bit of growing pains again, not as much as like when it first started up, which is good, but yeah, it's noticeable and it's annoying. I nearly need a drink. I'll be back. Hang on a second. Right, sorry, my septum ring fell out and I um, had to get a drink because like too much talking is making my throat really dry. Anyway, where was I? So I've been going on a lot of really long walks lately, which has been really nice because like I live in a place with a lot of nature, so it's pretty easy to go adventuring and get lost for a few hours that's been really great and like an interesting thing that I've noticed is that I don't really get much like muscle soreness the next day whereas I usually would like pre-tea because I kept like anticipating it and it wasn't it wasn't happening and I was doing like a lot of walking every day and I just didn't get really any of that muscle soreness that I usually would which was like really cool and very very interesting i don't know how that works i know last time i said that i wasn't going to talk about my cycle again until something changed and nothing major has changed but it has started coming late again so this month it came five days late but other than that everything was like the usual so yeah not much change there but i thought i'd note it just in case that becomes a thing again and then the last thing we're just going to talk about is my body heat because that has really gone up again a lot which is really interesting to experience during winter and it's really become like very apparent to me when I'm, when I'm hanging out with women and like they are complaining about how freezing they are and I'm like the only one that's kind of hot so yeah that's been interesting. And I do think I'm experiencing like hot flashes as well because I get it like really suddenly and I just want to like rip off all my clothes because I'm like so hot all of a sudden and then it like goes as quickly as it came it's really weird yeah but that's the last little thing that I wanted to share regarding how tea is going it's just body temperature I'm sorry that like it's been a while again since I've been posting I've just been really really busy life has been very chaotic for the past while so I haven't had much time to film but I do have plans for like a few different videos that I want to make soon I definitely want to do like some nature vlogs before the weather heats up again. 
Oh, my throat is doing some weird stuff right now. Yeah, I also want to do like some kind of DIY videos and stuff, but I started filming one and my editing software was like glitching out because of how many clips I had. Because if I have too many clips, it starts like randomly corrupting files, which is not not helpful. So I really need to get like Final Cut Pro or something. Anyway, I have like video ideas and videos in the works. It's just like taking me a while because of how busy everything's been and also because of dealing with all of the furniture stuff that's been going on. That's like been taking up so much of my time. It's been really fun like getting all of this together and I think it makes like a much nicer background than before. It's like a lot neater. Anyway, so I guess I'll see you when I see you. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.